You say you undertook this task with delight because you're attracted to, quotes, impossible men. What is it about impossible men that you find so appealing? I think part of it is the fun of matching them up to women who will put them in their place, women who require them to up their game, be more intelligent, think about things that maybe they haven't thought about before. And the more difficult the guy is, the more challenging and fun it is for me to create a situation and a heroine who's going to make them really work for the relationship. And I think that's a good start for the relationship if the, the guy has to work at it. It's not just handed to him. Yes, you, you say that despite being under 30, attractive and rich, they're all right. social outcasts at the start. And that, that takes some doing, doesn't it? Although still the young ladies probably throw themselves at, at them because they are rich and attractive. But the women that they become interested in actually disdain them, don't they? They need to be chased. Yes, because the women are looking at them objectively. They're not looking at them in terms of, oh, he's a rich person who's got the highest rank possible in the aristocracy. They're looking at this person as a man and what kind of man is he? In other words, the women are being more rational than women often are about men. You see an attractive man, sometimes you're not thinking clearly. But this is fiction. In real life, men like the kinds of men that I create in my stories, I wouldn't go near them. They're not going to get better. They're like that now. It would take a miracle. They have to fix themselves. No. But in fiction, that's the wonderful thing about writing romance. We create this ideal world where things go right. Love goes right. 